playing the market. Okay, so playing the market is about having a mixture of the buy and holds and the pump and dumps. Okay, so you don't necessarily want to just be looking at one coin um, to do a pump and dump and necessarily one coin to do a long term. Okay, what you want to be doing is you want to be playing the market. Okay, you want to be seeing the movement of cryptocurrencies and be able to make the deductions of pump and dump and buy and hold through looking at the cryptocurrencies and play the market essentially. So playing the market is essentially hedging your bets. Hedging your bets means betting on a lot more than just one. Okay, so you're spreading the risk. Okay, that's what you're doing. So if you've got one particular coin that is tanking and one that's rising, you're spreading the risk. And what happens on any given day is the one that was falling the day before will go up and the one that was rising goes down. And that is playing the market. So you are spreading the risk. Playing the market involves betting on more than one coin at a specific time. So for instance, Stratis is one of my coins. Stratis is a long term. Digibyte is a long term. Okay. Doge and Einsteinium and things like that, these are short term. Okay. So I basically used Einsteinium as a way, I can't even find it now, Einsteinium, there it is, Einsteinium, okay? So Einsteinium did really well. I bought while it was about to ride a wave, I rode the wave, I dumped it, okay? Doge was another one, okay? Doge was another one, okay? Now I don't see the long-term value in Doge. Doge, in my opinion, is a joke coin. Okay, I rode the wave of Doge. I bought around about, yeah, no, it was, I bought around about here. I bought ages ago Dogecoin. I bought Dogecoin ages ago. I've been buying in implements here, 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 and building up the Dogecoin. Rode the wave, dumped it. It then went down in value, and I bought more. Okay, I bought some more just to ride the wave again. Okay, so these were pump and dumps. There are a few more pump and dumps. NXT was another one. But I've since sold all of my NXT because NXT, um, NXT essentially dived, okay? Once it started diving, I left it, okay? Once it started diving, I left, left it. So I invested in NXT ages ago. It must have been around about, don't know, maybe it was around about here. I invested in NXT. I rode a wave. I kept it. It rode another wave. I dumped it, okay? I dumped it well before the crash. Okay, so I, and so what you see is I was using Stratis, I was using Steam, I was using Digibyte as my longer term coins on this particular exchange. And I used things like Dogecoin and Einsteinium <clears throat> and NXT and a few others. There were a few others that I was betting on at the same time to hedge the bet, ride the waves, and then dump them. Okay, as soon as you see a loss being made, dump them. So playing the market is a really good strategy to spread the bets. If you have a particular currency, so as I've mentioned tons and tons of times already, Steam, Steam is definitely one of, this is the one I have the most, I suppose, faith in being one of the best long-term strategies, okay? One of the best long-term coins. So I've just bought a load here. Okay, and the price is low. So at the moment, I'm not making many gains. So when the price really dipped, I bought some here, rode this wave, it went back down again, bought some, bought some, and I bought some last night when it went it went under, it went under the 41200, it went to 39, oh no, it went to 3866, 38600. And I bought at 39100, okay, because I put a buy order before I went to sleep, and then overnight it bought it, okay? So, essentially, Steam isn't making me a lot of money at the moment. It's probably one of my least performing cryptocurrencies, but I know it's good for the future, okay? So, I use playing the market to make sure that I'm keeping money coming in, despite the fact that some of my cryptocurrencies are at the moment consolidating, okay? It's a basically quite level before any waves, okay? And Steam, I've got in there at the right time. It's still a great price. I'm really considering buying more, okay? And Digibyte, Digibyte 
when I showed you Digibyte, Digibyte was in the 500s, 400s, it's been in the 600s, it then took a massive dive the other day. It took a massive dive the other day, it went to under 500, look at this, look at this. It went down to 4, I think it went down to 440, okay, it went down to 440, and I bought a load at 490, okay, it went, went up, and then I bought a load when it was at 490, and now it's at 808, okay, so it's nearly double what it was a few days ago. So this is one of my better performing cryptocurrencies, and then Stratus. Stratus is being stratospheric at the moment. Look at that amazing and you saw when I bought this and look at this it's amazing so what I'm trying to say is is that playing the market is a great way of hedging your bets and also making sure that you are prospering at times when your longer term currencies are flatlining a bit okay so when it's just at a low price which you're happy with I'm happy with the price of steam at the moment because I bought it lower than it is right now but it's still not much higher so whilst it's still quite level other coins are bringing up the value of my portfolio. So playing the market, what you've got to do is use a mixture of pump and dump and long-term coins in order to play the market. Use the criterias, research, research, research. Don't gamble, research, okay, research well. Don't just think, oh, you know, LBC sounds good, I'll go for that, or DCR sounds good, I'll just go for that. No, you've got to research it. Research it, and I've shown you how research the coin, do your own research on Google, look in the different communities, what are people saying, and then make a deduction of what to pump and dump on, okay? Pump and dump and long-term buy and hold are good strategies to make sure that you are not making many losses, and if you do make losses, then the gains will bring up your overall portfolio value. So essentially do that. I do know of people who just go Omni, buy that, AMP, buy that, LBC, buy that, XCP, buy that, VRC, buy that. And then they just hope on a wing and a prayer. Some do, and what happens is, and this is quite typical, but I don't recommend you do this. What happens is, is literally VRC will go right up and Omnicoin, which is already quite high right now, will go right down. And then you'll see those movements going vice versa. So playing the market is a good strategy to make sure that you are keeping your retirement fund funded, okay? Keep your retirement fund funded. So I hope that's helped you, and I'll see you in the next lecture.